Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've got Alpha 3.7.0 on the PTU first wave at the moment, so we can actually talk about it and play it. And I wanted to have a look at the Banu Defender briefly, just a quick tour of the ship. Now, you can't get in it properly in the Persistent Universe, but we will glitch in in a way that is um, easily repeatable in a second. But let's just take a, a couple of seconds to look at the sort of like design style of it. It's very animal-like in certain aspects. So it goes, why have a, a, a metal-y foot when you can have an eagle claw foot? Um, and the actual sort of like textures are ridiculously high quality. So this is true of actually a lot of the Star Citizen ships, but look how like detailed those textures are when I actually wheel in. We've got some weird issues with the sort of like engraved things that have a bit of aliasing issues when I zoom in. I'm not sure if this is bump mapped or some other um, newer technique. Um, I'm old school from my knowledge of how game engines work. Um, but the exterior of the ship looks absolutely fantastic. Very crab-like. Um, the more I look at it, the more I see crab. You can see it's like the, the gaping maw of a crab. Um, now, if I want to get in it, you'd think you'd go in through the front door. And you'd be right until you were wrong. And you realise there's an invisible wall here, uh, which I can't get through. But inside, you can see the sort of inner workings of the ship. Very Geiger-esque, very alien. I'll be saying that a lot, probably. Um, or have said it previously, anyway. But you can see the sort of, like, bone structure of the ship. Uh, and if it loses a limb, it's sort of like... So it can lose these arms and still fly and everything. It loses a weapon if it, if it loses an arm. But um, it sort of, like, starts hemorrhaging green Banu blood. Uh, it's very, very biological in a lot of its stylings. Um, but what we're going to do to try and get into the ship is... Uh, hurl ourselves off Port Olisar. Um, so we'll do that now. That's the sound of me hurling, apparently. Uh, bam. Oh, I did that without hurting my feet. Perfect. So the only way you can get in the ship at the moment is by... Um, it's a naughty ship. You have to sleep with it. <laughs> um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so we're going to go to the left-facing cockpit. Over here. Slow down slightly. We'll have a look. A little bit of a look at the top of the ship. Look, look at how cool it looks. Um, oh, no, no. Get up. Get up, boy. Fantastic. Perfect. Perfect landing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. I'm going to stand probably around here. Turn off my flashlight. Uh, and then we're going to have a little kip. Crash sleep. And then we're going to hold down F and rapidly click on this. No, I don't want to. No, no. Oh, God. So I interacted with my, uh... <laughs> with my personal inventory system there. I didn't want to do. There we go. Second time's a charm. Perfect. Maybe not well, maybe not perfect. Um, so, we glitched into the ship. I'm going to close the uh, the gaping maw. See what the, the actual stairs go up and down. It's very sort of organic. Very cool. Close the door. Have a look at the internal structure. Actually, we'll probably have a look in a second when we've got a bit better lighting. Two beds there. Uh, the doors just open when you approach them. I'm going to get into this seat. I've uh, learnt to fly in the left seat now. And what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flight ready the ship. And while that's powering up, I'll just Systems look around activating. the cockpit. Systems on. Flashlight, uh, I hope it's not annoying people that it's on. It's very weak now compared to what it used to be. Um, I should have turned it off, but I didn't. So we are going to make sure that I'm in fixed mode, because otherwise I will flip the ship. Do I might flip the ship, but not lucky, if I'm unlucky. And now I'm going to fly upwards. I'm not going to fly through the hoop, because if I fly through the hoop, I will lose both my arms. Thank you. So here is the beautiful crab ship in all its glory. It looks so weird. I really like it now. Like, 
I'm not a fan of alien ships, but it, it's got a lot of call to it. So I'm going to boost forward slightly. I'm going to retract the landing gear. You see the arms actually go forward when you retract that. Get some more beauty shots of the ship. Got the green sort of like uh, exhaust fence. I really like it. It's weird. It looks really weird. It does look like a crab. Uh, if it loses an arm, it looks like a crab asking a question as well. So, it's the only ship in the game now that can use the Tachyon Singe uh, Fanu weapons, which are basically hit scan railguns. Um, sort of beam weapons, but they're not continuous beam that we're going to have in the game later. I really like them. Oh, the size 1 and size 3 singes have been removed from the game. And we just have the size twos now. That just that the defender can use. If I keep on saying merchantman by accident, please forgive me. The Banu Defender is what we're talking about. I keep on saying merchantman because I don't know, my brain is broken. Um, if I do indeed say merchantman. But you know what I'm talking about. The Banu Defender, the first Banu ship we've got in game. They can now build out the Banu def uh, Banu Merchantman with the sort of like design that they've learned from this ship. Now, let's have a quick look at the internals. And then we get to the coolest part. Something really, really cool. Um, which I won't leave you in suspense. It's the quantum travel in the uh, Banu Defender. The quantum travel in the ship is absolutely beautiful looking. So, let's, uh, let's do this. No, no are we gonna, we're sitting back down. Apparently we're sitting back down. Of course we are. Press Y again. Go on, let me out. Let me out. I think we need to get away from the seat quick enough. Huh? Open the dock. Um, so. We've got a bit more light this time. Except, now we don't. Um, I'll turn on the flashlight. Because it's giving us intermittent light at the moment when it, uh, That light goes blue every so often. So we've got this sort of, like, internals of the ship. We've got two beds, which we can either sit or lie down, log off in. Um, which is pretty cool. And bed locking works much better in 3.7. Even in the PTU at the moment. But sort of like the idea and the design style of the ship is that it's like a, it's like you're inside uh, a whale or like an animal like that. You can see the sort of like bone structure. You've got the sort of like um, arteries. Um, I don't want to go and help someone in deep space. Uh, although you probably could in the in a Banu um, Defender. You have someone else come and accompany you. It'd be fine for a single person rescue ship. Or even for a transport ship in the in the game currently. I'm thinking about it. It's uh, kind of like the design style. It's interesting. It's certainly very alien. And I mean Geiger alien. And just different to the humans. Uh, but let's, uh, let's have a look at the really cool. Really cool stuff. Go on, open, open the door. Everybody do the dinosaur. Going to press F1. We are going to uh, fly to unknown. Oh, no. They do towards Levski. Perfect. And then we're going to aim that. And you get to see the coolest thing. The coolest thing. This is my favourite effect that I have seen in the game. Um, by far. And I hope that all the human ships get a bit of an update to quantum travel because of it. Look how cool this is! It's a mixture of Doctor Who and going through a rainstorm. It's like... It's so cool. We've got particles basically being hurled at the ship which bounce off the, the edges of it. Um, and then we've got this sort of like quantum bubble being formed around. And then just the interesting nature uh, of the sort of like Banu quantum travel, the quantum drives. Look, it's sort of swirly and cool. And if we uh, come out of quantum, uh, so let's press a four. Uh, let's uh, turn the engines off. You can see that sort of like, Waviness goes like that. 
How cool is that? Eh? Get some beauty shots of the ship. Um, okay, oh, need to turn the engine on to flip the ship. Engines on. The ship is just really cool. I really like it. I think she's... Got a lot of, uh, a lot of cool to her. Um, and I quite like the, the, the Banu weaponry at the moment. The sort of like railgun nature of the ship. I'm interested to see what sort of like a way it can interact with the Banu merchantman, the Defender. Um, because the idea is that it's supposed to have some sort of synergy. We're expecting some form of at least a light docking between the ships. Um, which should allow for some cool stuff potentially, like being able to share quantum travel fuel or travel faster or maybe refuel, repair and rearm the ship, stuff like that. Um, but having two people on the ship as well has has a purpose on the Defender. So the idea is that you're sort of like, um, there's a hardening mechanic for its shield, so um, you can harden the shield so you can add the other person, I suppose, in the future gunning uh, or just, just managing the systems on the ship more effectively while you... Um, fly because the ship does fly pretty cool. Um, got a, a good amount of mobility to it. Um, it does need to be tweaked and stuff. There's a load of problems I had in uh, when I was playing in Pirate Swarm earlier, trying to work out how the ship um, actually flew and coupling um, and then undercoupling, normal coupling, uh, and then switching between the modes and stuff uh, to get everything flying properly because it was uh, it was a bit weird, um, or at least different for me, but um, I'm interested to know what you think. I think she looks like a beautiful crab. Um, and I really, really like the style of the ship. It just looks really, really cool. And the qu that quantum travel is just sick. And sick, I've been uh, told by the kids, uh, means uh, good. You crazy people with your double misstep and your hippity hops. Uh, let's go back into quantum. What's it look like in, uh, in first person? Probably not as cool as third person. But yeah, that's the uh, the Vanity Defender. Uh, I suspect it to be on sale again with 3.7 going live, but get it in game, run it in game if you want this sort of shit. I've been interdicted. Who has interdicted me, and why? Anyone? For any reason? No? Maybe it was just a fan that wanted to like and subscribe. Boom. <laughs> that's, a, that's, an, that's an outro, right there. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For October, it's an Anvil Carrick Explorer ship that should hopefully be flyable in Alpha 3.8 at the end of the year. Just comment on any of my videos made during October to be in for a chance to win that. There's an Azatec giveaway as well. They make cool CPU coolers. See what I did there? And at the moment, they're giving away eight of these lovely CPU coolers with my logo on. So there's a lot of board gamer branded ones. I'll put a link down below for that separate giveaway too. I am also shilling for NordVPN and Shadow Gaming PCs, so um, use the code BoardGamer for discounts there. NordVPN, in a world of censorship and privacy issues, VPNs allow you to browse the net and play games in more safety. NordVPN has many benefits over free VPNs, and that's why I shill for it. Uh, some of you also might be interested in Shadow Cloud Gaming stuff. Uh, this allows you an alternative to sort of like buying and maintaining your own gaming PC. You can stream a custom Windows 10 environment to devices like your phone, a laptop, or a crappier, lesser PC. And bam, it's fantastically powerful and it's maintained and hardware is regularly updated for you. It's a fantastic service, Shadow. Cloud gaming certainly has quite a big future ahead of it. If you'd like to further support my channel, please consider subscribing, sharing this video, ringing the YouTube bell so you get notifications when a video goes live. This is a channel that is funded by the community via donations, Patreon members, YouTube members, um, and anyone else that wants to get involved with comments and helping. Thank you to everyone that goes the extra mile. Take care, and I will see you in the verse.